Hi, this is Rushali and you are watching Rushraj Classes YouTube channel. We are uploading special videos for the students who are going to write scholarship exam in the next month, that is in the month of January. This is NMMS scholarship exam. We have already uploaded few videos regarding this. You can check the link in the description box. Now in this exam, one interesting question comes is count the number of figures. One figure they give and we have to count the number of squares, triangles or circles. Like this we have to find in the given figure. We have already uploaded the video which explains how to count the number of squares. And in this video I am going to explain one more similar concept that is how to count the number of triangles. Yes, even this is quite interesting concept that how to count the number of triangles in the given figure. So without wasting time, let's start our today's concept that how to find the number of triangles in the given figure. But before I start this concept, I would like to request all of you that please do subscribe our channel so that you will get the regular updates of such interesting and useful videos. So now let's start with our today's concept. So as I said, we are going to count the number of triangles. A triangle means what? In simple words, triangle is a figure with three sides. It's a polygon with three sides. See, just have a look here. It's one simple triangle. This is just one triangle. Okay. Now have a look at this next figure. Now how many triangles can you see here? In this figure, it's quite simple that altogether there are three triangles. Triangle standing on each base. One triangle is standing on first base, one triangle is standing on second base and one triangle is standing on the third base. So in this case altogether there are three triangles. So this was quite simple. Now let's have a look at this next figure. How many triangles can you see in this figure? One, two, three. Yes, clearly three triangles are visible, but the answer is not three. So how to get the answer in such case? See now here, what you have to do is just write the numbers. Okay, so these triangles which are formed by this vertical lines, just write the numbers one, two and three. And how to get the total number of triangles? One plus two plus three is equal to 6. This is the total number of triangles. Now here it's very easy to find out how these 6 triangles are formed. See, just look at this figure once again carefully. Triangle number 1, triangle number 2 and triangle number 3. These are 3 triangles. Now 1 and 2 together forms 1 triangle. So this is our 4th triangle. 2 and 3 together forms 1 triangle. This is our triangle number 5. And our main triangle, the bigger one, means 1, 2 and 3 all together which forms the main triangle. This is our sixth triangle. So like this, there are all together six triangles. So don't waste time in verifying. Okay. Don't waste time in verifying or finding out whether really there are six triangles or no. Straight away, apply this trick and write the answer. So let's check one more example of this type. So here is one more interesting figure. Count the total number of triangles in this case. Now here we have three base and one vertical line. Okay, we have one vertical line from the upper vertex and there are three base. See, we have written here number one, two, one, two, one, two. So on this first base, one plus two, there are three triangles. On this second base, Again, 1 plus 2. There are 3 triangles. And on the third base, again, 1 plus 2. There are 3 triangles. So here, what is the total number of triangles? It's 9. So here, altogether, we have 9 triangles. Now, let's check one more interesting example. Just have a look at this figure. Even this is quite interesting sum. Count the total number of triangles in this given figure. So let's check how many triangles are there in this figure. First of all, okay, first of all, let's check how many triangles are there on our main base. There are altogether five triangles. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, how to find this total number of triangles here? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 5, 15. There are 15 triangles. But this is not our answer. Why? Because, just check, there are again some horizontal lines in between. So, we have to consider that as the base and again find how many triangles are formed by that horizontal line. So, here in this first case, the numbers written are 1 and 2. So, on that base, 1 plus 2, 3 triangles are formed. Okay. And on the other side, again we have written the numbers 1 and 2. So, here again we have to do 1 plus 2, that is 3. So, now the total number of triangles in this given figure is 15 plus 3 plus 3. 15 plus 3, 18. 18 plus 3, 21. So, in this case, altogether, there are 21 triangles. So, you can use this simple basic trick to find the number of triangles in the given figure. Now, there is one more type. Okay, so lines are not going to be always like this vertical and horizontal. So, let's check what is one more type of question asked regarding this concept. That is how to find the number of triangles. Before I proceed with the next concept, I would like to request all of you that please do watch this video till end. If you want to understand any concept, okay, perfectly, 100%, then always watch the videos till end. Not only my videos, if you are watching any video to learn any new concept, always watch the complete video. So that you will understand the concept perfectly, okay. Never leave the video in between. So now. Let's move to our one more interesting concept. Means how to find the number of triangles. Now just have a look at this figure. There is one square or we can say rectangle. And the diagonals are drawn here. And we have to find the number of triangles. Now in this case how to find the number of triangles. Clearly it is visible that there are four triangles. But this is not our answer. This is not our answer. There are more triangles in this. So, how to get the total number of triangles? Again, there is one simple trick to find the total number of triangles here. See, what we have to do here is just number the triangles, whatever are formed at the center. See, here we have numbered 1, 2, 3, 4. You can start from any triangle. You can write in clockwise direction, anti-clockwise direction. That doesn't make any difference in your answer. The only thing is we have to get the Number of parts formed by the diagonals. Now here in this case, there are altogether four parts. Okay, here there are four parts formed at the center. So how to get the total number of triangles? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 multiplied by 2, 8. 8 is the total number of triangles formed here in this figure. You can check, count carefully you will find 8 triangles in this figure. Now let's move to one more interesting sum of this type. How to find the number of triangles? Now just observe this figure carefully and find out how many triangles are there in this given figure. Now here, just check how many parts are formed at the center. Let's number them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 parts are formed. And how to find the total number of triangles? It's simple. 8 into 2. 16 triangles are formed in this figure. Yes, there are altogether 16 triangles in this given figure. Now let's check one more example. Now just have a look at this figure. How to find the total number of triangles in this given figure? There is square with four lines in between. Again, there is one more square in this with four lines in between. So, how to count the total number of triangles in this case? In this case, first of all, let's number. Okay, let's number the parts. How many parts are formed at the center by these lines? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Altogether, 8 parts are formed. So, first we will consider this outer square. Okay. As I said, it can be square or rectangle. That doesn't make any difference in your answer. 
So here, let's consider our outer square and find out how many triangles are formed in that square. So there are 8 parts, 8 into 2, 16 triangles. Again, there is one more square within that square. So even in this square, there are 4 lines forming 8 parts at the center. So here, again, we have 8 into 2, that is altogether 16 triangles. So now total number of triangles in this given figure is 16 plus 16. That is 32. So there are 32 triangles in this given figure. Now let's check one more type. Okay. One more type of figure where we have to count the total number of triangles. As I said, watch this video till end. Because there are quite interesting concepts. Only in counting the number of triangles, there are different types. So now let's check what is the next type. Oh, this is so interesting figure. Find the total number of triangles formed. Now this is quite simple figure. It's very easy to find the number of triangles in this figure. Number the triangles formed here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Altogether there are 4 triangles. But don't forget our main triangle. Okay, the main triangle that is our bigger triangle. That is our fifth triangle. So in this case, there are 5 triangles. But question is not going to be so simple in exam. They are not going to give like this figure and ask you to find the number of triangles. No. But you have to remember this. That whenever like this triangles are formed in one triangle, altogether there are five triangles. Now let's check one example of this type. Now have a look at this figure. There is one triangle. In that four triangles are formed. Again in the center triangle, there are again four triangles which are formed. So how to find the total number of triangles here? So in this inner triangle, okay, in this middle triangle, there are four triangles. In this outer triangle, there are four triangles and our main triangle. So altogether, there are nine triangles in this figure. So like this, we have to apply this trick while counting the number of triangles in the given figure. Okay. Now even this was quite easy. Let's go to one more type. That is how to count the number of triangles. And this last one is quite interesting. Yes. Now the next one is our last type. How to find the number of triangles. And it's very interesting concept. Now just have a look at this figure. This figure is quite interesting. And we have to find the total number of triangles here. Now to count the number of triangles in such figure. Is little bit difficult. Or we can say is time consuming. So in such case. We must know the simple trick to find the number of triangles. Now how to find the number of triangles here? See here, just number the triangles which are formed on the base. How many triangles are formed on the main base? So here 1, 2, 3. Similarly here 1, 2, 3. So on all the three sides, there are three complete triangles formed. So what we have to do here is write down these numbers. 1, 2. 2, 3. How many triangles are formed? We have to write those numbers. 3 triangles, write 3. 4 triangles, write 5. 5 triangles, write 5. Write down those numbers in order. Now we have to go for cumulative addition. Now what is cumulative addition? We have to go on adding the numbers one by one. First number is 1. Write 1 as it is. Then in this 1, add this 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. In this 3, add this next 3. 3 plus 3, 6. Now what we have to do? Add this. 1 plus 3 plus 6. 10. 10 triangles. This is not our answer. This is not our answer. Now further what we have to do? From this last number, from this last number, Alternately put cross and tick mark. Yes, alternately put cross and tick mark. Cross mark to the first number. Then next comes tick mark. And next comes again cross mark. And in this sum, we have to add the numbers in front of which we find this tick mark. Now here we have tick mark only in front of 3. 
add 3, 13. This is our answer. So altogether there are 13 triangles in this figure. Yes, altogether there are 13 triangles in this figure. So to find the number of triangles in such figure, you must know such quick, simple tricks. Then and only then you can complete your exam paper because the most important factor in competitive exam is time. Okay, now let's check one more example of this type. One more example. As I said, this is the last type what I'm going to explain. So let's check one more example of this same type. So this is one more beautiful figure. See, so many triangles are formed here in this figure. Now how to find the total number of triangles in this given figure? As I explained in the previous example, what we have to do? Find how many triangles are formed on the base. Means on, on each line of the triangle. So here if we check, there are four triangles formed. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And even on the third side, there are four triangles. So what we have to do first? Write the numbers. One, two, three, four. And we have to do addition. First number as it is 1, then 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10. Now next what we have to do? Add these numbers. 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10. 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 10, 20. But this is not our answer. So what we have to do now? Alternately, we have to put cross mark and tick mark. Cross cross tick. Now we have tick mark, right mark in front of two numbers. So add those numbers in this 20. 1 plus 6 20 plus 1, 21 21 plus 6 27 So now in this beautiful figure we have all together 27 triangles. So this is how we have to find the number of triangles in the given figure. Apart from this, if you want us to make the video on any specific concept of competitive exam, you can drop a mail on our mail ID. Mail ID is shared in the description box. Even if you want us to solve any specific questions which you come across in model papers or any previous old papers, you can also send those questions to us. We will definitely try to help you. Okay, we will make the videos on those questions or the concept what you request. So my dear students, this was all about today's video. How to find the number of triangles in the given figure. Hope all these types, that is how to find the number of triangles is quite clear to you. Please don't forget to share these videos among your friends. And my dear students, by this time you might have subscribed our channel so that you will get the regular updates of our upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.